Hey folks, today's video is all about six websites that were absolute game changers for my coding journey. Now, whether you're a pro or a beginner trying to break into the tech industry, these six websites will help you develop six core skills that I believe all great software engineers must have. So grab a coffee, take a seat, and let's talk about how these websites can help you level up your coding skills as well. So the first website on this list is typingclub.com, and the skill that it addresses is typing efficiency. Now, when I first started programming, I was extremely slow at typing and I probably had a typing speed of about 40 words per minute. And that's because I primarily use only these three fingers to type with each hand. But after doing a bit of research, I found that some of the fastest typers in the world use a technique known as touch typing, where basically each finger is assigned to a certain section on the keyboard and never really strays from that section. And as a result of this, touch typers are extremely efficient when they type and they basically don't need to look down at the keyboard at all. So typingclub.com has a large number of exercises to help you retrain your brain to type using touch typing and it's basically what I used for about 3 months until I got the hang of it. So after spending a few months on typingclub.com and ramping up my typing efficiency, I needed a way to increase my typing speed as well. And that's where the second website on this list, which is MonkeyType, comes in. MonkeyType is a website which provides you with a minimalistic typing test that will help you improve your typing speed. And it provides analytics on each of the tests that you take so you can track how your typing speed changes over time as well. And I think after learning touch typing and practicing on MonkeyType for another 3 months, my typing speed shot up from 40 words per minute to about 90 words per minute, which is over a 100% increase in my typing speed. So after I learned touch typing and improved my typing speed, the next thing that I wanted to do was to get more efficient at typing code specifically. And to do that, I learned Vim from VimHero.com. So if you don't know what Vim is, it's an extremely powerful and highly configurable text editor that allows you to write code much faster with the help of a huge variety of keyboard shortcuts for selecting, navigating and inserting text. Now instead of me explaining to you why Vim makes you a faster programmer, I thought I'd just show you this video of someone who codes using Vim. Now when I saw that, I thought that was freaking sick. So I went to vimhero.com to learn the basics of Vim. And although I'm not an expert at it, I feel like just by learning the basics, I've become a much more efficient programmer, but I'll keep developing this skill as well. Right, so after working on all my typing issues, the next thing that I actually wanted to do was to improve my problem solving, which hopefully most people who have been working in the tech industry for a while would agree with me when I say that it's probably the most important skill that you need to have in this field. And if you don't know what I'm talking about or why I'm saying that, then I've made an entire video explaining this and I'll link that video in the description down below. But to basically refine my problem solving, specifically in relation to programming, I used LeetCode, which is the fourth website on this list. Now most people grind LeetCode on a daily basis just to, I guess, get better at LeetCode. But what I focused on mainly was to take one problem a day and practice whiteboarding a solution from start to finish before actually implementing it in code. And what I found is that by doing this consistently over a few months, I actually became a lot better at being able to take a problem, break it down and come up with a solution on pen and paper before actually working on an implementation. If you're someone who's trying to get better at problem solving, then I'd recommend using lead code problems to whiteboard a solution rather than you actually grinding lead code problems endlessly. Now once I was relatively happy with my problem solving, the next skill that I wanted to focus on is specialized knowledge. And for those of you who don't know, I'm a software engineer at Canva and I specifically focus on web development, which basically focuses on writing applications that are accessible across the web. That was a specialized skill that I wanted to actually improve. And to do that, I use FreeCodeCamp. FreeCodeCamp is an amazing resource because it's got a huge variety of learning resources on pretty much any topic in tech, which is why it was such an instrumental website in leveling up my specialized knowledge. So by this point, I was able to improve my coding speed, work on my problem solving, and even develop some specialized knowledge as well. But what was missing for me was the ability to take all of these things that I'd learned and combine them to actually build something meaningful. And that's where the next website on this list, which is Code Mentor, comes in. Code Mentor is a website that challenges you to build projects in a huge variety of programming languages. And if you ever get stuck, the website also offers mentors who can jump in and help you with your projects. 
So if you're someone who's looking to level up your programming skills, or doesn't have too much experience with building projects, then I definitely recommend checking Code Mentor out. Because most of us, especially beginners, spend so much time watching tutorials and grinding lead code problems every single day that we don't get enough experience actually building something tangible. And in the tech industry, what actually matters is your ability to build solutions to problems. If you have reached this point, then kudos to you because you're probably someone who's really trying to improve their skills on a daily basis and maybe even trying to land your dream tech job. If that's the case, then you might want to check out this video where I walk you through a framework that I developed back in 2020, which helped me land my first software engineering job with basically no work experience. 